I made the worst Tetris AI for some reason. I wrote some code, and now we have to train the AI. But first, did you know that less than 5% of people who watch my videos are subscribed? Yeah, that's you unsubscribe person. Please subscribe, it helps out. Let's start training the AI. On the left side of your screen, so right over here, there will be a Tetris board. So I'm going to start the AI now. As you can see, it's doing things. We're training the good AI right now. And at the top left of the Tetris board, right now, there is a score and there's an episode number. The score is obviously the score of the game that this code that I stole calculates. And then there's the episode number, which is basically fancy machine learning terminology for the amount of games it's played and the amount of games it's learned on. If we skip forward in learning a little bit, let's say to episode number 2000, as we can see this AI is pretty good for, I mean, being a Tetris AI. This AI is much better than the bad one that we will be training in just a few moments. I'll show you the best results from both of these AIs later on in the video when both of them are finished training. So now let's start training the bad AI. Ready? Go! These AIs basically start off doing the same thing, which is doing random moves because they don't know what they're supposed to be doing yet. Later on, they'll learn. While these AIs are training, I'm going to teach you a little bit about machine learning. These AIs are trying to get the highest reward possible. A reward is something you define as a programmer to what the goal or the objective should be. In this game, in the good AI, it's points earned. In the bad AI, it's the minimum amount of points earned, or the lowest number of points earned. In some other games, such as speedrunning games, it may be the lowest time. Lower time is better. Each time these AIs play a, another game or episode, they have a different version of themselves because they're slightly tweaked each game they play. If a new version in a game gets a higher score, it's usually overridden and it will take the better AI because ultimately that's what they're trying to do, trying to create the best AI for the reward. In our case, the bad one's just bad, but that's its goal. Its goal is to be bad. After a few hours of training these AIs, they had played a total of 5,000 games each or episodes of Tetris. I handpicked the best and worst results for these AIs, which isn't necessarily the 5,000th game they played because there's some randomness in Tetris and sometimes they just mess up. So I have the best and worst results for each of these AIs. They ended up being about three-fourths of the way into training, so about, I'd say, 90 minutes to two hours, around there. So I think let's start off with the control, the actual good AI. So here's that. That AI is much better than me, I'll be honest. I'm not that good at Tetris. So now let's look at the worst AI. You ready? You, you might miss this one. Set, go. Oh, that that was awful. I spent hours doing that for less than 10 seconds. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment with what you'd like me to do because I'm running out of ideas.